Welcome to Crystal Info Co.uk, Get Going Guides. Uh, this podcast will be looking at using the site panel in Freeway. So this is found on the left uh, of your screen uh, and is very useful and shows all sorts of different information. The first basic view is it just shows the pages that you've got on your site. So here I've got four pages on my site that I've created. So I've got my home page, which we're looking at here. Then I've got an info page which has a bit of text around it and I've got a site page which is blank at the moment but uh, I've just put a bit of information, a text box on there saying what it is so when we link to it we can do it and an email page which we're going to be working at later on and also I've got my master page which is the information uh, or the design that goes on to every page and any change I make on this page uh, applies to every page that's using the master page. So I put the links on this page so that all these pages can be linked uh, together from there. But I haven't put a return to home. So on this I'm going to change the link so that it goes to an internal and goes home from there. So we've got links uh, there. So it shows the pages uh, that you've got on your site. Now when you get a dot appear next to your page it means that you've made a change since you last previewed it or you last uploaded your site and so that when you preview it it's going to make new HTML for you. So if we preview this uh, at the moment, so we go to the home page and then we preview it, it will then generate the HTML for us and then preview it in the browser. So here we have uh, the browser and when I click on these different buttons they will take me to the different pages and then I can return back to home from there. So, so here now all the dots have appeared because the HTML has been written. Now I'm going to make a change of alignment uh, on this so all the pages are now centered so it's made a change because it's on the master page it's now changing all the pages and so the dots have reappeared. So that's great. We can look at this and we can see that we've made changes to some pages and maybe not to others. But there's other things we can look at uh, from the bottom of the site window. Um, we can show the uh, file sizes uh, of the pages that we've got but we haven't uh, done much on them yet so there's not much to see. Uh, we can also see that if we've got images um, here on each page you can see all the images that are being used so this has got all the images in the header uh, in the banner and uh, on show and all the images for the rollovers uh, down the bottom and you can show the alt text being used in each image so then you can change the alt text uh, in the um, inspector window you can also select each individual item so if you're not sure what each one is, you can select it and change it uh, from there and the graphic item inspector appears and gives all the information. So you can select all the items you want uh, from uh, here and it shows you every page as you scroll down. And if you don't want to see all the pages at once, you just want to focus on one, you can close up and then just open up the one that you want to look at. Uh, at that page. So yeah, then this is showing you all the images and again for the master pages you can see what's happening there. Another way of looking at it is to show links. So if we open up here it then shows you where all these links are going to. So we've got links in the demo so we've got a link here which is this button here because it's become highlighted as I click on it which is going to link to my text freeway section uh, on my main website so that's an external link. Uh, we've got the purple box which is the um, hotspot uh, to link back to the home page and then we've got the link here for the info page so it shows you what where the buttons are and where the hyperlinks are uh, to each individual uh, page. So and you can close these up and open these up exactly uh, the same as before so you can see the links on every page which is quite useful. 
Now another thing you can look at, which is good, is to see all the items on the page. So again, if we open up, we can see everything that's on there. So we can see every image, and we can see the hotspots and things on there as well. Uh, and it's showing the file sizes uh, of these uh, images as well. So we're going to turn the show file sizes off. Um, and it shows what they're called with the alt text as well. And so if you want to click on something, you can just click on it again uh, from there. And you can do this with the master pages, of course, as well. Where you've got the F appearing, it means there's an action been applied to that. So these are probably the rollovers, uh, where it's got something done. So you can see what uh, images uh, have an action applied to them and what images are just standard by themselves. So, and then we can go back to just show pages. We're back to where we started as well. You can also from here add folders, create new master pages, or just add new pages uh, from there if you want. And then you can just say, which master do you want? I've only got the one master. What title? How many pages do you want to add? Bear in mind, if you add more than one, they're all going to come out the same title. So you want to rename them all individually anyway. Um, and then you just click OK, which I'll click Cancel. Uh, and new pages will appear or you can just drag down the pages from it. So the site panel very useful it can show you all sorts of different information it can show you it in different ways it's also useful from if you're looking at items it can tell you by the color of the box whether it's a table box or whether it's green it's a CSS box and if it's purple it's a uh, image map spot and if it's gray it means it's an image uh, box so you can see a lot from your site from there and if something's gone wrong maybe that's where it's gone wrong and you just need to change uh, the box type so site panel really excellent to use uh, very flexible uh, and makes a big difference to the speed that you can work with so visit me on www.chrislinfordco.uk uh, or you can find me on itunes or on youtube